Hello everyone. Now in this video I'm going to talk to you about a negative feedback. Negative feedback always annoying and it's I suppose you angers you and frustrates is frustrating and something that no eBay sellers would like to have. If you can avoid it, it'd be fantastic. And I've noticed over the years, it's always the buyers who has less than 50, in fact 20, 30, that kind of feedback and they're not sellers. They are particularly buyers who tend to leave you feed negative feedback. And so far I was quite good. For the last year or so I've I was trading on a hundred percent. But um, as of July 2018 some someone decided to put a negative and all, all because and all because some people have probably have a little gush the item they bought so they just want to get their anger out and I'm going to show you my negative feedback and we'll discuss this how I tried my best to get rid of it, remove it, but um, whenever you get, whenever you speak to eBay from the UK, it goes to a call center in the Philippines. So it's very difficult to explain to those guys and girls in Philippines. Sometimes they do not understand. So the most frustrating is eBay is a multi-billion pound company and a platform. Surely, I hope the eBay bosses in the future can move their call center from the Philippines and bring it back to places like the UK or bring it back to Ireland, for example. Then you'll have a better service. Because some of these people, when you talk to them, it's just a waste of time. Totally waste of time. They do not understand. So it causes more frustration. So I'll show you the feedback. Let's log into my account. Let's go in there. Okay. Now basically the feedback, look, I was on 100% for uh, last year or so, right? Now what does that mean? That one feedback, it draws me to 99.6. You know, I'm not so bothered because I still be selling and my customers always trust me. They know what they're getting. And in fact, most of my listing I promote on eBay anyway. So I couldn't care less about this because they know they, whenever they order my stuff, they're going to get in time and, and it's going to be good quality. So I'm not bothered about that. But what really annoyed me is, is this feedback. So we're going to share this feedback. I'm going to go down a bit. And what he says here, right, what he says, this feedback, let's go. Okay. There we are. I sold a Panasonic cordless digital phone, handset phone, right? Fixed line telephone. Yeah. Now the buyer claimed the item too small. Now what really annoyed me is you're buying a more a fixed line cordless telephone. What the hell that supposed to be means? Cordless phones are small anyway. They're not huge, great huge, are they? So I, I didn't get the point. 
So this is the item I sold. And I tried to talk to eBay and obviously I was not getting anywhere in Philippines. This is the item. Now on the for photo side of things, I've clearly all the photos been clearly put up. Look, I had loads of photos showing the item. But one mistake, and a lot of you can learn from my mistake, is on the description, if you are selling that kind of product, make sure you use a ruler and measure your handset in centimeters and inches and put that damn thing on the description. Make sure you put the size of the handset on the description. So whenever you sell a damn item like this, nobody has a chance to have a go or, you know, come back and say it's too small or whatever it is. You know, but I'm really annoyed. You know, telephones, these type of telephones are small. They're not huge. They're not made huge. It look stupid uh, having a large cordless phone on your hand, isn't it? So, I don't know what the the buyers has in had in common. What the hell he was he or she was thinking? And my mistake, I did not put the size on the description. So I accept that. But the sad thing is, if we look at the this buyer's feedback, for example. And here we are, as usual, look, I expected that from this buyer, only 26 feedback. And if we click her name, yeah, here we go. Yeah, just, just a buyer, it's not a seller. So you see what I mean? So next time anybody out there is selling this type of product, you know, cordless phones, make sure you put uh, put the size of the handset in. So this kind of buyer is not going to put a feedback, negative feedback on you. I hope this video has given you a bit of thought to think about. Please click like, subscribe and comment button. Thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button. Thank you so much.